little sugar you got there. Just Make a moonshine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a shiner. Not making the simple syrup for the bees. We're in between flows, I think. I think they might get a little bit of a fall flow from the golden rod, but so far they haven't. So I'm doing a one part sugar to one part water with a dash of apple cider vinegar uh, to feed the bees. And make sure they have enough storage for the fall because we're actually gonna take the rest of the honey off the top and then they'll use the sugar syrup for the winter and fall feed. Apple cider vinegar helps keep the mold down in the sugar syrup and some people think it actually helps keep the bees a little bit healthier. So mix that in as well. I'm on. Live. Yeah. Yep. Well, as live as we get. <laughs> All right. So today we're going to take our supers off our hives. I've got this new stuff to try. It's not new to the world, but new to me. It's called Be Quick. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll spray it on this blanket, and then I'll lay that blanket directly over the top of the super. And the bees really don't like the smell of this. Uh, it kind of smells like uh, cheap bathroom soap. Uh, so it should drive the bees out of the supers. We can take those off. Then what we're going to do is drill a new hole into the inner cover and place the inner cover on and then the supers over it. And then over the top of that, we'll actually <clears throat> go the telescoping lid and we'll put these feeders on top of the inner covers. It all makes sense that I show you. Uh, but then the bees will be able to come up through the hive, come up into this hole that's actually got grooves on the side so they can grip it and be able to take the sugar syrup inside of this feeder and down into the hive. So we'll see if we can get away without using smoke today. Probably not going to go too deep into the hives, but we'll see how they're feeling. It's a little overcast, a little breezy, so they might be a little cranky. We'll see. What I'll end up doing is spraying this blanket and then I'll leave it on top of the hive for a few minutes and then pull off that super and go through it. So, here we go. So normally you'd use a, a board that this would be attached to with a metal lid. That way it can really heat up and fumigate this little section. Uh, but today we're just using a plastic tote lid. I'll leave it on there for a couple minutes. It should push them all down. Shake these bees off this cover and then drill a hole in it to take the feeder on top. larger than them so when it sits on here it can sit inside flush and then keep the bees inside of the main hive without being able to come up on top of this feeder. 
Two frames full of honey on this side, looks like two on this side, and then right here in this middle, this frame is full of brood, which is awesome to see. This one is too. So we should have plenty of winter bees. Crossing your fingers. We'll see if we can get shot at any of them coming up. got all of our supers off they're not very full a few frames in each of them really um, so we're gonna take them back over for the trailer get the rest of these bees off of them uh, the bees will smell the honey and keep coming back to it so we want to get it away um, we did get all of our feeders on looks like that third hive doesn't have a queen in it right now or is a non-laying queen so we'll check mm -hmm. back with that one in a week and probably in a week or so we'll probably do a mite count on all the hives just to see where we're at for this time of the year. There's a bee right I on the know. camera. <laughs> um, but we'll go from there. Uh, all the other hives look all right. Uh, they look good, but a little concerned about that third one. Of course, comes to worst, we'll add those boxes to one of the other hives or two of the other hives and let them uh, sort themselves out that way. So let me get these, these honey, this honey out of here before it gets any more bees on there. So that's it. It. Try not to get stung by the bee on my phone. <laughs> Action! Here we are, back in the apiary. <sighs> this hive here, number three, might not have a queen. Last week we checked, didn't see any evidence of a queen in there, so this week we're going to check again. And if there isn't anything, We'll actually take these two boxes and combine them with two of the other hives using the newspaper method. Just basically put a sheet of newspaper between one of the boxes and one of the old hives. And then they'll chew their way through and combine to make one big hive again. Uh, but if there's a queen in there, then we'll leave it be. And then we'll feed everybody. And then come back and check on them in a while. I think they're starting to kick the drones out, which are the males. I saw them dragging out some larva the other day. Looked like a drone larva, so... We'll take a look for that too. But let's keep going. Since we're looking for the queen in here, we're going to start slowly moving through these boxes until we look at everything, see what's going on. on this frame, which we wouldn't really expect her to be on either of these two frames. The outer frames are usually the food stores. The middle frames are usually where the queen should be, where her brood is, if she has any. Quick, right in the middle. 
to oh, the bottom. Oh, I see her. Yeah. Oh, shh. Dang, she is quick. Well, that's good, though. She's right here. Right on the edge. Now she's going on. Yeah. She does seem smaller, so maybe it is a new queen. She went on the other side. Really not seeing much. Any eggs in here, so... Be new. She looks small. She's right. Yeah. Save her. Let's we'll make sure we check the table, make sure she gets back on. So I don't gotta worry about squishing her. Safely over here. And go through and take a look at some of these more green. If she does start laying, there's lots of empty space, so that's good for her. Or if she is laying, maybe she just hasn't worked that frame yet. Some real young larvae on here. There's the eggs. All right, so we're queen right. You don't have to nice. do much more than that. Feed them. Talk to him real nice. Oh, sweet lady. <laughs> Did you hear that the, uh, the royal beekeeper told the bees that the queen died? Yeah. yeah. What'd the bees say? Uh, <laughs> what else are they going to say? <laughs> Like and subscribe for more amazing content and comment down below what you like most about this video.